My name is Jason Nickerson Tinna, and uh, I play Irish flute among other instruments. I started playing music in fourth grade. My grandfather uh, owned an organ, and uh, I, as a kid, would bang on the organ, and you know, I wanted to play it more than anything. I grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana. I wanted to play classical music. When I was young, um, I was uh, a member of the uh, Crescent City Youth Orchestra. At one time when the New Orleans Philharmonic lost funding and disbanded, the, uh, there was a, a New Orleans volunteer orchestra. Uh, and a lot of the people that had belonged in, uh, to the Philharmonic uh, would keep up their, their musical talent by playing in this volunteer orchestra. And that was wonderful to get to play, uh, you know, massive pieces of classical music with these already experienced uh, musicians. We moved to Hot Springs when I was 17. I went to Hot Springs High for my last year of high school, and I played in the band there. And after I got out of high school, I started work at, at the Arlington, and as soon as I could afford it, I bought my first set of bagpipes, and I started playing the bagpipes here in Hot Springs. The biggest call uh, for a bagpiper was uh, playing at funerals. I met my friends Mary and Christy and started playing in the Celtic band. It was called Celtic Knotwork. My mother saw a newspaper clipping that a Celtic band was coming to town. And of course, I, loving Celtic music, I jumped at the, the opportunity. Uh, so we went down to the Poets Loft uh, to catch their concert, and it was great. Before I knew it, you know, I was playing along with the band. We got to play at community events, Scottish festivals. We played at educational venues, colleges, and bookstores, and of course, we played pubs and such. We were on an arts list that uh, a, an organization could apply for a grant in order to hire us. In the height of our career, uh, there were four of us. Um, we played for seven years, uh, touring the state of Arkansas and neighboring states as well. All forms of traditional music have a hard time staying alive. Ireland is trying really hard to keep their traditional music alive. They teach traditional music in in the Irish schools. They, they teach their, their native language and ancient songs. The musicians um, have the biggest uh, obligation to actually get out in front of the public and play their music and share their love for it. You know, we can open up our phone and we've got music just, you know, pouring out at you, but you know, it's hard to get the feeling of the music. And traditional music is all about the feeling, you know, getting up and dancing and throwing off your, your cares and your worries and just, uh, you know, letting yourself go. So I think, you know, sharing traditional music is a very important thing. Many musicians and bands that uh, are keeping the spirit of tra uh, traditional Irish music alive, while at the same time, uh, you know, being creative with it um, and helping it to, uh, to come into the, the next century. I left Arkansas when I was uh, 24 and moved out west and wound up in Arizona. When I left, I, I didn't play, you know, music anymore. I left Celtic Knotwork and uh, went out to California and just didn't have the opportunity, you know, just sort of let it fade. You know, it was probably a, a rough 15 years for me, uh, you know, with life and its ups and downs. I finally got to the point where, you know, I realized I was happier playing music, especially happy music. I just, I needed to get out and, and start playing music again. Uh, the, the panhandling law had been uh, rescinded and there were people playing mu music out on the street, downtown Hot Springs. So I thought that would be 
a great excuse for me to get back to my music and start practicing again. So I did, I, uh, I picked up my flute and I started playing again and I realized, you know, this, this music is happy music and this is what I want to share. So I decided to practice. I practiced for a few weeks and then made my way downtown and started playing and I love it. To see the, the children's face light up when they, when they see, see me playing the tin whistle or, or the flute and I get a lot of thumbs up from the kids especially. <laughs>